So how do you get astigmatism? Well, really astigmatism is a function of the beautiful, infinite variety that we see in biology and nature. We know that every parameter follows a normal distribution. So most people are average height, we have some very tall friends, there's very short friends. And we just see that variation. And we see that variation in how people's eyes are constructed. And this explains why we see patients with incredible optics. I had the privilege of looking after an extraordinarily famous cricketer who lives locally. And he had the most perfect optics of, of, of any patient I'd ever seen. Just uh, incredible eyes, incredible vision, literally biological perfection. Most of us fall short of biological perfection and we see astigmatism really as a function of that. So a lot of people are lucky enough to have a perfectly round spherical cornea giving them a really crisp sharp focus but a lot of us have some tendency at least for that cornea to be a slightly uneven shape, a little steeper in one direction than another. And the greater that difference between the two meridians the greater the amount of astigmatism that we're going to see in the way that lens performs. It'll focus more powerfully in one direction than another. So that's normal astigmatism that we see through a population. But of course we do see disease states where people can develop astigmatism in their prescription. So in the cornea for example, trauma to the cornea may result in scarring and an uneven shape, shape that distorts the light and creates some astigmatism. There's a condition called keratoconus, where the cornea can move into an abnormal shape with steepening in the lower part of the cornea and irregular astigmatism, where the light is refracted more strongly in a few directions, not just in, in two meridia. And then in older patients who may not have had any astigmatism through their adult lives, as the lens inside their eye matures, ages, and begins to turn into cataract, that may cause uneven refraction of light and again may result in newly acquired astigmatism. 